So you obviously prepared for this round the world trip and you I think you spent quite a lot of time researching who you were going to volunteer with and where. Yeah, I think we did uh, a lot of research really and looked, um, once we'd narrowed down the actual countries we wanted to go to, I mean we were keen to go with organisations which we felt would actually take an interest in what um, we could provide as opposed to it just being tapped on as part of a, a holiday and as a result of that we did a lot of um, looking at various organisations, looking for ones which were actually interested in um, uh, our skills, looking at ones who were actually interested in our background and not that we were just anyone who had turned up. As a teacher I understand the importance of things such as CRB checks and people and places were one of very few organisations which actually wanted that check carried out. That's true, yeah. Yes, we, we actually saw people and places advertised um, in, I think it was the Daily Telegraph weekend supplement, so it wasn't difficult to track them down and, and we liked what we saw and the rest is history. But we also knew that we wanted to go to Kenya and that it was a lot harder to find an organisation sending people to Kenya where we felt they took the same level of care with who they were sending and um, looking at skills matching basically. In actual fact the organisation we did go to Kenya with didn't really do any skills matching um, but they did ask for a CRB check and they did give us um, a good briefing, mm -hmm. a paper briefing um, before we went. Um, but we did find when we actually got out to the organisation in Kenya that it was very much left up to us to just, they, they showed us around for a couple of days and then said well now you can work out a programme for yourselves. What, you know, what would you like to do and that actually was quite difficult um, and we did suggest to them that they might think about when they have volunteers coming out new volunteers that they do do some skills matching beforehand because they were involved in a, in a number of different activities within the community and I think that would have really been helpful they ha I know they have a lot of young people going out there doing manual work and that's something I feel a little bit unsure about. We, that's something we definitely didn't want to do, to just go out and build new houses for example, because we feel that, that surely there must be people that would value the, the opportunity to do that work in the local community, feel a little bit uncomfortable about the fact that they're getting um, English and, and American teenagers to go out there and do it. Mm. Mm-hmm.